Ah, the tangled webs we weave. What's going on y'all, it's David or David, and we are back with another Borderlands 3 video for y'all. Today, I want to talk about what my top 5 guns are to use to speed clear the Malawan takedown raid event on Mayhem 4, in no particular order really. Keep in mind that this list is almost completely subjective, but I did take it upon myself to ask around the community and some friends that I know have cleared this raid countless times already and I've even raided with them, so I know that they know what they're talking about. I asked them what they think that the best weapons for this raid are, and this list is with the combined thought and knowledge of them and myself. I'll leave the names of the people that helped me down below in the comments. Really quick though, if you like the video at the end, please make sure to go down and TDR chuck that like button for me and leave me a comment with anything you want to say. It really helps me out a ton and I appreciate the heck out of all of you for watching this. So without further ado, kicking off the list at number 5 is going to be the Maggie, or the Dastardly Maggie in this case, which is the legendary Jacob's Pistol. This gun stays true to the Jacob's manufacturer name and does massive crit damage with the right build. You can shred through the Malawan enemies in this raid by running around the back of them, shooting their crit spots, and you can even deal really good damage to Wotan when he splits up. This gun just does insane damage for not having an elemental damage attuned to it, and with the right anointments and build, you could easily be doing the most DPS in your party. I recommend using a Dastardly Maggie with these anointments. On action skill end, deal 125% bonus damage to badass, named, or boss enemies. This is great for the Valkyrie and Wotan fights to pump out quick bursts of damage. On action skill end, crit damage is increased by 25%. Again, this is great for bursts of damage, notably great for flak crit skills or Amara phase grasp abilities to run around the grasp target and shoot their weak spot. Or even the kill skill that gives you a stacking 5% weapon damage and reload speed bonus to help you blow through the early mobs in between bosses. Coming up for number 4 is going to be the Various Element Cutsmans, which are legendary elemental Malawan submachine guns. These are extremely potent right now with Amara's driver mod because the slow projectiles mean that you can get a good running start in before they hit to deal insane damage. Now all three elements that it can come in, Incendiary, Shock, and Corrosive, all have their uses for this raid, but I think that the best one is Corrosive, followed by Shock, and lastly Incendiary. The corrosive one is almost a staple in all of my builds across all of my characters because the Valkyries and Wotan are all armored enemies, and this version just melts them extremely quickly with its high elemental damage. The shock one I admit I don't use very often because I use other shock weapons, um, but with all the shielded enemies in the raid, which I'm going to guess is like 90-ish percent of them, this gun just really shines. The fire one is extremely helpful in the beginning for the Ratches, and it helps take down the Malawan soldiers that have flesh health bars, after their shields are removed. Although later on in the raid, you start seeing less and less flesh health bar enemies and more armored enemies. Here are some of the better anointments for the Cutsmans for this raid. While terrified, you have a chance to fire an extra projectile. This works really well with Terra anointed builds and can improve your DPS exceptionally. On action skill N, deal 125 bonus damage to badass named or boss enemies. This is really great again for melting the Valkyries and Wotan itself. You'll be seeing a lot of this anointment because it's just so good. Even the action skill N next to magazine anointments work because they're just so flexible and they can come in many different combinations of elements. I like using these with elemental damage Amara builds. Number 3 on my list is going to be the TD or shotguns, and the Everblast to be specific. These guns are a great offensive tool because they deal massive damage and don't really require you to aim, and they are also great defensively because you can use the shock one to replenish your shields, or even like the cryo one to freeze the enemies. These are another great weapon for a driver and Mara builds because she can throw them and then run like a madwoman while they blow up her target. You mainly want to use these for mobbing, but the corrosive ones are surprisingly great for bosses. For these, you are looking for the Everblast with the homing module on it, along with the MIRV grenade module. If you don't know what these are just by looking at them, you can go into the parts menu and find them. The homing module looks like this, and the MIRV part looks like this. The anointments that I recommend on these are, after using phase slam, weapon damage is increased by 300%. This anointment with the TDR makes Amara a nuking machine. You can pretty much just face slam and throw it to do massive amounts of damage. You can also use the aforementioned driver mod with this combo to do even more damage. On action skill end, splash damage is increased by 125%. The chucks with these are considered splash damage as well as the mervs that spawn, meaning that this increases the DPS by a huge amount. 
I'll jump over to Sanctuary to show you. So I have no skill points invested and no other gear on. And so this is the damage without using the action skill. Okay, and now this is the damage with the annoyment after my action skill ends with the same no gear and no skill points. This annoyment is pretty much universal and is what I would say the best current annoyment for TDRs. Rounding out my list at the number 2 spot is going to be probably my favorite gun on here, the Brainstormer Legendary Shotgun by Hyperion. This gun absolutely shreds enemies that are nearby each other and probably has the highest raw damage when two enemies are next to each other than any other gun in this game currently. Although when an enemy is alone, you might as well just swap to another gun because this gun against an alone target is extremely horrid, like you might as well just slide kick them. I believe that this gun comes in two variations, the cash infused that shoots 7 pellets and the redundant which shoots 14 pellets. I pretty much prefer the cash infused one more because you have more shots to your magazine and it only takes up one ammo at a time, whereas the redundant one typically has a smaller clip and it takes up two ammo at a time. Here are some examples of incredibly good anointments for the Brainstormer. While terrified, deal 50% bonus cryo damage or alternatively the action skill end cryo damage anointment. These two add cryo damage to the Brainstormer, which not only gives it the fantastic ability to freeze enemies, but it also covers the shock damage weakness against armored enemies. I like using this with Flak and his hunter skill tree to never run out of ammo really, and also with this artifact that buffs my cryo effectiveness. On action skill N, gain 100% weapon damage is also really useful here. This just gives the Brainstormer even more raw power to shred through foes. I recommend this with high gun damage builds or high elemental damage builds. Now before I get to my number 1 gun, I do want to cover a few honorable mentions that others and I considered to be a part of this list, but ultimately did not put in the list. The Lucian's Call. This gun is incredibly powerful when it comes to critting and mobbing, and with the right anointment it is super strong versus the bosses as well. Kill the Wisp. This is one of my personal favorites, as it doesn't require much aim to use and it is super nasty at shredding the shields off of enemies. It does pretty okay DPS, and I've found some really useful builds with it through the use of elemental action skill and anointments. The Kib's Wrath. A new Mayhem 4 gun from the takedown also almost made the list. It does powerful DPS at a super quick rate, and it has the neat ability to drop a healing aura on the corpses of enemies that you kill. It's fantastic for like pseudo support builds and does just fine DPS on its own. Now wrapping up the list at the number one spot, we have the Recursion Legendary Shotgun by Malawan. This gun is an absolute tear when it comes to mobbing enemies because the projectiles bounce between nearby foes to deal massive amounts of damage. This gun is also a complete beast against Wotan when he splits up, this gun can pretty much insta-kill him. Here's a clip from a fellow YouTuber, Jonathan Baker, that kindly enough let me use this for the video. I'll leave a link to his channel and this video of his in the description below. Not much more needs to be said about this gun after that video. I like using the 100% weapon damage annoyment, but the 125% damage to bosses and stuff works as well. And that my friends is going to be it for my top 5 guns for the Mayhem 4 raid event. If you like the video, please leave me a like on this video. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to drop me a comment below and I'll reply because I read and reply to every single comment on my videos. If you're on PS4 and would like to try any of these guns, message me and I'll hook you up. Also, special major thanks to my homie Vulcan. He helped me get most of the guns in this video and for my next videos, so thanks man. Everyone, please make sure to TD or check that subscribe button to support me, and if you don't want to miss out on future content from me, also TD or check that notification bell. Don't forget to check out the video description for links to my other build videos, and I also put a link to the spreadsheet of all the items that I'm giving away on PS4 down there too. Just message me any item that you want from there that you'd like and I'll send it to you. If you're on PS4 and would like to raid with me, send me a friend request with raid somewhere in the message and I'll keep you in mind when I'm inviting people to join me. That will do it for me. Thank you all so much for watching it till the end. I'll check you all in the next video. See ya! I 
opposites attracted, magnetic and irreplaceable. Picture perfect, photogenic, doused the minutes. Yes, I'm finished. Acting like nobody has my back. Girl, you told me that. I'm 